Oh, for Scooby Dooby Doo, only you know the answer. when I'm doing my online banking. Ooh, why do you spend £300 at Mr Chucky's Gentleman Girls and Courses morning? I, I, I didn't. I made up all the diabolical libraries. Oh, diabolical liberties, little Howard. Hold my calls, big Howard. I've got work to do. You have to hold your own calls, little Howard. I've got to set up a payment to my favourite tax-deductible charity. <laughs> ah, little Howard, I've come up with another of my big questions. Why can't I get hold of Sawblade the Municipal? What? Um, Big Howard, you've just donated every penny you owe to your favourite charity. How very generous of you. <laughs> what is Big Howard's favourite charity? Absolutely. The Association for Providing Free Scarves for Every Bowl in Pearly. Good. So it's not gone to waste then. <laughs> I love bunnies, I love bunnies All those happy little chirpy little bunnies With their tails and their bananas I think that if we all were bunnies We'd have happier manyanas Give me bunnies, lots of bunnies For you now that it's the bunnies I adore If my love said that she did not love those bunnies I wouldn't love her anymore Thank you very much! The last 2,000 times you've sung that song, the words were, I love monkeys. Yeah, the letter K's fallen off the auto cue. You should have needed an auto cue. You should have learned the script by now. Sorry, Bag Harold. Big Howard! Got, 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 got. No, no, you see, you, it was all a mistake. Uh, no, 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 nobody thinks that, that no, no, bowls no, no, need no. free scarves more than I do, but the, the, that no, is all my no. money. Hello? Fancy giving all your money to bowls. I didn't, you did! You're on the press button with your face. Oh, God, I... No, I am again. God, I've got every single one. Little Howard, what are you doing? And, and who is Sump Ben the Mounty Bank? Sawblade so, so the Municipal? He's the rarest Belf card in Dragon Moon Magic Moon Quest. You haven't got him, have you? The rarest what card in what what magic what what? Dragon Moon Magic Moon Quest. It's only the most popular trading card game for the under 12 this fortnight. Get with the program, loser. And you've got every single card apart from Seesaw the Money Penny. Sawblade the Municipal. The only person who has Sawblade is Boy Had the Swing. <laughs> oh, not him again. Yes, him again. I mean, a bidding war. How could you be in a bidding war? You haven't got any money. Arta, it's how people bought and sold things before money was invented. Exchanged them for things they thought were of equal value. Bartering? You don't know anything, Mother. It's not called bartering, it's called swapsies. And the price for saw blades is getting out of hand. It started off at four penny twos, and now it's got up to Jilly's mum's car and a fruit corner. What could possibly be more valuable than that? How about £90 million pounds worth of gold? Now I ain't saying she a gold digger, uh, but she ain't messing with no broke, bro. Uh, now I ain't saying she a gold digger, uh, but she ain't messing with no broke, bro. Uh, get down, girl, go head, get down. Get down, girl, go head, get down. Get down, girl, go head, get down. Get down, girl, go head. Sorry, why have you got a wheelbarrow with you? Oh, oh yes. Oh, this. This is my lucky wheelbarrow. I take it everywhere. Well, you know you can't fill it up with gold or banknotes. Why not? You've got loads. Gold is only valuable because of its scarcity. Oh, is that the town where Dracula lives? Scarcity actually means that something's really rare. Right underneath where we're standing now are the Bank of England's gold vaults, where they've got £90 billion worth of gold in them. And nobody really liked carrying gold around. Gold is so heavy, this bar weighs two stone or 13 kilograms. 
they would take it into the Bank of England, leave it with the bank and get given a receipt or a banknote in return for it. If you look at a £5 note, for example, it still says on it, I promise to pay the bearer on demand the sum of, signed by the chief cashier of the Bank of England. Can I keep this? No. Thank you. Just coming. So that's why I can't let you take any gold or banknotes away with you. Come on. I'll scratch your back. You'll scratch mine. What do you mean by scratch my back? Well, I mean, I'd actually physically scratch your back. So you're saying that in return for me letting you scratch my back, I would let you walk out of here with a load of gold and banknotes? That's about the size of it, yes. Do you know, if an adult had tried that, they'd be in big trouble. <laughs> I do like voles, but seriously, I need to get my money back. Thanks very much for the scarves, mister. And it's a pleasure. Hey, why do you need eight scarves? Hello? Hello? Ah! Boy down a swing. He's just being unreasonable now. Well, why? What's Chillblade the Medicinal going for now? It, it's Sawblade the Municipal. Darren Hughes, who smells of eggs, has offered him a go on his scooter and his mum's villa in the south of France. Blimey. Yes, I know. He never lets anyone have a go on his scooter. No? Can... I mean... Blimey, that is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. is the most beautiful woman you've seen in your life. I think you need to pay more attention, Big Howard. Mother, I need to know what the most expensive thing in the world is. Jacob Masters, the, the one with the built-up shoe, has just really upped the ante. You mean he's put the price right up? Yeah, he's put the price up to his ante. She cooks very nice cakes. Oh, she's got a glass eye. Cool. Roger. She's a litter picker in the park. So you've fallen for a pooper scooper. What are you telling me for? Well, I need some advice. Um, and you're the only person I know who isn't a child or a computer. Well, you've come to the right pigeon. I'm very popular with the birds and the chicks. Well, how do I make a like me? Propose. What? Propose marriage to her as soon as you speak to her. She'll like that. Won't that freak her out a bit? Well, look at you. She's going to be freaked out anyway. One of the most expensive things in the world is a building. Where do you think it is? Well, it's not in Pearly, so Croydon? It's in space. It's the International Space Station. It's the largest man-made thing in space. It weighs 350 metric tonnes, travels around the world 16 times a day, and is estimated to be worth $160 billion. Wow. Sequence. You really think I should buy her a diamond ring? Definitely. But I've given all my money to Voles and shouldn't we get to know each other first? Oh no, fatal. Give her a whacking great diamond and ask her to marry you. It never fails. G give it all your money to what? The next thing on my list is the great star of Africa. Look, I got in enough trouble trying to nick a space station. Oh, it's not a star. It's a diamond. Big Howard, can we go to Africa, please? Only if I can go halves of the diamond. Oh, it's not in Africa. It's in the town of London. It is part of the Crown Jewels. The Crown, Crown Jewels. Jewels. The diamonds are forever. They are. 
stimulates and teases me They won't leave in the night I've no fear that they might desert me Oh, it says here that the Star of Africa is the largest polished diamond in the world which was cut from the biggest diamond ever dug up, the Cullinan diamond, which weighed 530 carats? What? It weighed the same as 530 carats? Yeah! Oh. Oh, no, no. Carrot is spelt C-A-R-A-T. No, it isn't. No, it isn't, is it? Oh! In, th in this case, it is. Carrot, when it isn't an orange root vegetable, is how they measure the weight of a diamond. You can value a diamond by its weight and its brilliance. Brilliant! Don't need the money box, cause I can lost a lot of what I need right here. Excuse me, are you a lamb chopper? Beef eater, bless you. No, beef eater is our nickname. The Omer Warders of the Tower of London are called beef eaters. Right, OK. How much, then? How much for what? How much for the crown jewels? The crown jewels are priceless. Yes, I had noticed that. Have you broken your pricing sticker gun or something? Okay, we don't have a pricing sticker gun. Doesn't matter how much money you've got, you cannot buy them. OK. You've pushed me into this. I think you'll find that should cover it. What's that? That is Higgs Farm, Lord of Hamsnadam. The, the unifying overlord of the honey glazed kingdoms of Hamsnadam. His swinging power is distant. Go away. Uh, can summon the scuff that button? Way. Go, shoo, shoo, go, go away. No, don't know, go away. Flipping foals. The chicken licker said... Beef Yeah, he said I couldn't have the crown jewels, not even in swapsies for Higgs Barb Lord of Hamsnasm. What? But that's the only card that could have summoned the scuffers. I told him, but he didn't seem to care. Well, he must have been eating infected beef. <sighs> Little Howard, come look at these. Oh, they're lovely. What are they? Oh, they're fake diamond rings. I couldn't afford a real one because of the voles. That one looks like an ice cube glued to a key ring. Roger says I need a diamond ring to persuade the girl who works down the park to marry me. Why don't you just ask her out? Well, that's just... Oh, that might actually work, yeah. Really, Big Howard, you should know by now, Roger's stupid feather brain plans only ever lead to trouble. Hello? About the crown jewels. Do you want to nick them? I'll be right over. It has long been my ambition to steal the nick, snatch, blunder or pilfer, the crown jewels. I have devised three brilliant foolproof plans to choose from, which cannot possibly go wrong. Plan A. We follow the lead of the only man who has ever attempted this audacious feat, Colonel Thomas Blood. In 1671, <laughs> Colonel Thomas Blood set about trying to steal the Crown Jewels. He dressed up as a vicar and befriended Talbot Edwards, the custodian of the Crown Jewels. The Crown Jewels have a custard toe called Ian? No, custodian means he was in charge of them. Oh, right. After visiting Talbot several times, he asked if he and his mates could have a squiz at the King's Blink. When the vault was open, Colonel Blood hit Edwards over the head with a mallet and stabbed him. Then he flattened the crown and stuffed the orb and scepter down his pants after failing to saw it in half. At this point, Edward woke up and shouted, Murder! The crown is stolen! And the gang was captured. Colonel Blood was a canny fellow, though, and refused to be interviewed by anyone but King mm. Charles II himself. Why? Because he knew the king was a bit of a spaniel. I don't know, Roger. Sounds a bit... murdery. Fine. Plan B. The Queen will be flashing some of her fancy danglers at the state opening of Parliament. As she enters the House of Lords, we swing down from the press gallery with big nets, nab the Twinkies and escape. Nothing could possibly go wrong.
Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the first two, but what's plan C? Plan C. Oh, yes. We drive around the Tower of London really fast in brightly coloured pedal minis and shout at each other like angry Cockney gangsters. Hmm. Let me think. <laughs> A moment on the lips, love. A moment on the lips. Thing is, you might have to buy the coffees because, well, I've, I've given all my money to a charity that buys scarves for voles. Not the association for providing free scarves for every vole in Purley. That's my favourite charity. I love voles. <sighs> Higher, flappy legs. Higher. Bloke in a dress who's with flappy legs. This is Margaret. <laughs> It's a funny name for a block. Hello, Margaret. We're going to go and steal the crown jewels. Do you want to come? You're what? Are you involved in this? No. Well, take that as a no, then. <laughs> Wahey! What was all that about? I don't know. I don't know that. I've never seen that pigeon before in my life. <laughs> Roger, why are the crown jewels so valuable? Well, it's like your saw blade car. Scarcity, lad. Scarcity. There's only one of it and everybody wants it. There's only one of it, so you've got to pay. The boy has got it, and if everybody wants it, then you're going to keep on paying until judgment day. Jewels are in that building. Oh, I can see them. You keep watch. Right, I've got them. They were really quite reasonable. Put your foot down. Now, put the other foot down. Now, now put them down alternately with consistent and combined force. Just pedal the car. Well, why didn't you say? <laughs> There's only one of them and everybody wants some. There's only one of them, so they're gonna pay. And we have got them, and if everybody wants them, then they're gonna pay to see them until judgment day. to be all the crowd jewels. They are a bit tiddlier than I thought. But they look plastic. Of course they look plastic. They do that to uh, deter thieves. See, you're a thief and it's deterring you. And there's a picture on the box of a cat wearing a crown and the words cat crown jewels are written on it. Roger, I think this might be a crown for a cat. Ah. Oh. I thought it was a bit odd that there was a great big pile of them. And that they let me have it for $7.99. There's quite a lot of them and not a lot of one jump. There's quite a lot of them, so who's going to pay? You need a cat if you are gonna wanna buy a man. A cat that dresses in a quite extravagant way. Well, I am going home. I'll just wait for the biz to go down again first. There's quite a lot of them and not a lot of one jump. There's quite a lot of them, so who's going to pay? You need a cat if you are going to want to buy a man A cat that dresses in a quite extravagant way It was an easy mistake to make! Sorry, I just... Uh... You're awful, Howard! You've even taken all your money out of the charity 
要要报系。我暂停不动。How did the date go? She dumped me. So much as normal, then? Yes, except the reason she dumped me was she thought I was using her as an alibi because I was in on your plot to steal the crown jewels. Cut. <laughs> women, eh? Not cur women. I can completely understand why she'd think that. What was going through your head? I needed sure blade your municipal. I hope you understand now. There are some things that can cost you more than money. Sore bum the monkey puzzle. Sore blade the municipal. Him? It's cost me my girlfriend. It could have landed you and Roger in jail. You scarred, stealing rotter! Oh no, I've been getting this all day. The next all called because of you. You horrible man! So you got your money back from the vol charity? Yes. That's the other reason she dumped me. Margaret's a volunteer for the charity, and she's had to spend yesterday taking scarves back off freezing bowls. And I got talking to Boy Down the Swing's dad earlier. What? Bloke down the pubs? Yeah, he said Boy Down's already given Sword Bum the Mooney Poo. Sword Blood Debut Disciple! Yeah, given him to Angela Merriweather for a bag of sherbet lemons and a snog. Why would anyone do that? Seems that some people value snogs and sherbet lemons higher than all the money in the world. Hope you've learned a lesson, young man. Yes, I have. Oh. Hello, Angela. I'd like to offer you one pound forty two and a talking computer. The Mona Lisa, you say. The weekend starts early with some massive shows every Big Bad Friday on CBBC. We kick off with a huge new series of the summer. Who's the governor? Then gigantic new Danny's house. Can't believe it. Cheese! And then the whopper that is the all-new TMI Friday. Now that is big and that is very clever. The perfect way to kick off your weekend. Big Fab Fridays. From 4.30 on the CBBC channel.
Washi washi. Diddy dick and dog. Diddy dog, diddy dog. What? I found something. What is it? It's a stick insect. A what? It's a stick insect, diddy dick. Rubbish, lover. That's no stick insect. Look, where are its legs? Uh, they're hidden away. You see, the stick insect will camouflage itself to its surroundings so that it can hide from predators. It's in disguise. What a load of old rubbish! Look, it's not even moving! Shh, that's because it's sleeping. Oh, right, I see, yes. <laughs> so, where did you get the stick insect from, lovey? Um, well, it, it fell from a tree. And I rescued it. Oh, right, yes, yes, yes. Um, actually, uh -huh. I think I might have got a friend that might want to meet him. Oh, just oh, like oh really? Yeah. I think that would be nice. Okay, it would be nice for him to have a friend. <laughs> <laughs> this is my conquer monster. <laughs> it, it, it's nice and shiny. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Does it have a name? Oh, yes, Marvin the Destroyer. <laughs> really? around if you're up for some drama because up next is Danny's house <gasps> or if you fancy some quiet time you're certainly not going to get it with the school of silence starting on the CBBC channel right now in 12 hours earth will be ours <laughs> <laughs> to face. A brand new series of the Sarah Jane Adventures starts Monday at 5.15 on the CBBC channel.